Hey everyone, this is Sasha bringing you a video tutorial today from bp for You. Today we're going to be talking about the Tone Curve tool. So I've got these four sliders here and I can use them to increase my shadows and my darks while increasing my lights or my highlights or I could decrease my highlights and my lights and increase my darks and my shadows for a less contrasty effect. So as you can see here, I can kind of pull around on these sliders to get um, different effects going on with my photos. And if I want to see a before and an after of that, all I have to do is click here. And if I want to reset this, um, all of these sliders, all I have to do is hold down my Alt key and click on Reset Region. And all of my sliders will go back to zero. So there is another way that we can look at this as well. We don't have to just use the sliders to adjust this tone curve. So I can click on it and the sliders are going to go away. And now I'm able to make points on this curve myself to make, um, to make adjustments. And so right here I'm going to click back on linear. We have this other tool here, and this is a tool that lets us go through here and brighten up parts of our photo and darken just by sliding up and down. And so I'm just clicking and I'm pulling up, or I can click and I can pull down, which that didn't work out for us. And click back on linear again. So more practically, I would probably want to pull down my background and darken my blacks and I might increase their skin just a little bit and I really feel like that right there all by itself looks good. Now I can stack this on top of my on top of my sliders here so I've already made that one change but now I can go ahead and I can use the sliders to touch it up just a little bit more and so those two, um, those two linear curves are stackable. And so again, here's my before and my after. So the one thing that I think is my favorite thing about this tone curve in um, Lightroom 4 and above is that now we have these channels. Now Lightroom 3 does not have this. So I can go ahead and I can play with my red channel and I can add red or cyan to my picture or I can play with my green channel and add green or magenta to a picture or my blue channel I can add blue or yellow to a picture this is my absolute most favoriteest way in the entire world to edit for skin tones so anytime that my skin tones are off I always in full Photoshop run to this tone curve and I was so ecstatic when they came out with this in Lightroom 4 because now you can save the time by being able to edit this as well in Lightroom and so I think it's so amazing that they have that so definitely don't miss out on that feature And so here we have um, we can go back and we can cycle through the RGB red, green, and blue and that is under our channels. So we have a couple of these little presets here too and so we have medium contrast which is a medium contrast and we have strong contrast which as you can see there is a much deeper contrast than the medium. So I want to go ahead here and I would probably add a little bit of red and a little bit of yellow to their pictures to get a good effect and then up here in my RGB we have our contrast still set um, and if I wanted to I could tone that down because I can totally come over here now and I can tweak this as well maybe bring down some of those highlights but leave the 
but leave these shadows here. And then I could save this. And I could call this whatever I wanted to. And so then I would be able to come back to it for later use. And it would go ahead and it would apply all of those changes to my tone curve for me. So that is how you can use the tone curve. And if you want to see the before and the after as I was doing, you can toggle through there to see the changes that you have made. So thank you for watching this video tutorial. Happy editing!